It's summertime, that means kids are out of school, and this is also the time of year when playgrounds are busiest, but danger also lurks. Research put out by the National Program for Playground Safety shows more than 200,000 kids are hurt on playgrounds in the U.S. every year. Ashley Glass is keeping you safe this morning, and Ashley, you found out that more than half of those injuries actually happen on public playgrounds, right? Right, Deanne. As I also found out, there is a team that makes sure those injuries don't happen on Tampa's public playgrounds, and there are ways parents can help. I got you. Ooh, there you go, big guy. Lots of moms can relate to Christina Layton. If they're climbing, I follow them up. She worries about her two kids on the playground. I have actually come to this park without them to check it out before I brought them. But there are things parents like Christina can do to make it a safe playtime and a team of workers with the same goal. See how loose that is? J.R. Binnaker is a parks and recreation inspector. He checks out Tampa's 70 plus public playgrounds twice a month. With every inspection we do, we always grab it and get a good hand on it and we put all our weight into it. He finds some problems at Al Lopez Park, like this loose peddler. If it keeps on, we don't repair it. It'll wear out and it'll break off. You can have sharp objects and poke kids. The slide, too. And even that one's a little loose. And dug out holes under the swings. This will happen on a daily basis. Swings are too, gets to be too high for the kids. Kids can't get on them. And if they fall off, you got that much more to fall. He considers these minor problems and no serious threat since they were caught early. He says they'll be fixed in a few weeks, as soon as parts come in or sooner. Some of the things that I found will be fixed today. He points out parents can help too. As a parent, I go on there with my kids. Play with them, and it's just easy to find something that's really majorly broken whenever you grab it. And JR asks you report it. Most Tampa parks have at least one staff member around during the day. The National Program for Playground Safety offers this checklist for parents. One, make sure there are no strings on kids' clothing that can lead to strangulation. Two, make sure your kids are playing on age appropriate equipment. Tampa parks have these stickers that will help. Three, check for cushy surfaces like mulch or rubber, which you'll find in many Tampa parks. And finally, check yourself to make sure playground equipment is anchored like JR does. If you have a question about it, just go up there and shake it. They can get hurt on any equipment. It's just a matter of letting them do what's right on the equipment. Tampa Parks and Recreation says they've had only one report of injury on their playgrounds in recent years. Two kids who fell and broke their arms, but not because of equipment failure. And they say if you'd like to scope out a playground before you bring the kids, just call them. They'd be happy to show you inspection reports. We've posted that contact information in an article on the homepage at abcactionnews.com.